It might be hard to believe it, but Windows 10 has been with us, whether we like it or not, for a little over a year now. And given that Microsoft has moved away from monolithic updates every three or so years in favor of the new Windows as a service concept with feature updates being pushed out more regularly, I guess they decided it's time, time for the, well, anniversary update. But wait, does this actually add new functionality or does it just make the operating system less broken, a la the Windows service packs of yesteryear? Good question, and while there are bug fixes, to be sure, Microsoft has stuck with their vision of incrementally adding legitimately new features instead of just selling us a whole new version of the software a few years later. So, what's inside? Well, since you're probably watching this video through some form of web browser, We'll start off with the updates to Microsoft Edge, the replacement for Internet Explorer, which you can learn more about here. The anniversary update finally brings the long-awaited browser extension support to Edge, as well as the ability to pin your most important tabs. On the subject of keeping things organized, Cortana is a heck of a lot more useful now. She even works from the lock screen if you want to tell her to do something with your computer from across the room. My girlfriend could maybe learn a thing or two. You can also add images to your reminders, useful for recalling stuff you have to do at a quick glance. And speaking of Android, Cortana Desktop can now push to your Android or iOS device or your Windows phone if you have one of those. If you spend late nights staring into your computer monitor instead of your mobile device, one very welcome change is a dark theme for Windows 10, which can be accessed with one click from the personalization menu instead of a registry tweak. This should help keep you from being blinded by the light-colored UI elements during your late-night browsing sessions. And on the subject of late-night tinkering, if you're moving to a new setup or upgrading an old one, Microsoft has made it a lot easier to deal with activation issues as a result of hardware changes by giving users the ability to link their Microsoft accounts to their license keys. So you'll be able to reactivate more easily if you do something like swap out a motherboard or a video card. Although this doesn't completely remove activation concerns, it does give frequent upgraders a fair bit more wiggle room. And experimenting on the software side just got a lot easier as well, as the anniversary update includes a full fat bash shell. Essentially, you can run Linux commands from within Windows, similar to how Wine enables you to run Windows applications on Linux. An awesome feature for both developers as well as people who just want to dabble in Linux without having to dual boot or virtualize. Touch input is also more versatile. Windows Inc. supports annotations and gestures on more programs, including Office and Maps, if you've got a smart pen. And continuing to develop the do stuff without touching the keyboard paradigm, you can also log into Windows with supported wearables and smartphones if your computer is NFC capable. Although that being said, third-party solutions with this functionality aren't brand new. This is the first time Windows has supported it natively. Finally, apart from the usual security patches, facelifts, and bug fixes, the start menu is different again. Mine is working for now. The anniversary update allows Windows Defender, the built-in malware protection program, to scan your system from time to time, even if you have a different antivirus solution installed, just to make sure that your primary solution didn't miss anything. So while the anniversary update isn't quite like getting a whole new operating system, I'd say it's a nicer surprise than the traditional first anniversary gift of paper. Unless, of course, you'd rather have the official Microsoft pop-up book. Squarespace makes the creation of beautiful looking websites a breeze with 24-7 live chat and email support so that you can get over any problems easily. And it's only 12 bucks a month and if you sign up for a year, you get a domain for free. They have responsive design so your website looks great and scales to any device, tablet, phone, desktop, game console, whatever. And they have commerce pages so you can sell your stuff along the way. They also have cover page features so you can have one of those single page websites that are oh so popular these days. And there are seven new templates for business and professional services. So whether you're running a gym or a restaurant or even a freaking law firm, there's something for you. Start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. And when you sign up, be sure to use offer code TECHQUICKIE to get 10% off your first purchase.
All right, guys, if you liked it, liked it. If you disliked it, dislike it, but get subscribed either way. Check out this video, which is a channel super fun video about something which would be super fun that is on a channel on YouTube. And also leave a suggestion down below if there's other things that you would like us to check out on Tech Quickie. I'll see you next time.